you know, after spending some time with him with Tennis Channel and what you saw over the past, you know, two or three weeks, who, who's your goat? Yeah, I, th- I think we need to uh, see, take take out the, the there's dirt on the shovel. You know, there's there's embalming <laughs> fluid is out. I think the, the tennis goat debate was um, you know so a lot of fun for ten plus years, and there were a lot of passion and a lot of opinions. But boy, um, I, I don't know where you are on this, but just as a as a math exercise, it's really really hard to uh, arrive at a conclusion other than. Djokovic and pe- people are still out there trying, but you've, you've won the most majors. You've got the superior head to head. You've won all the majors at least three times, which none of you know the other two guys haven't. Uh, most weeks at number one. I mean, it's just it's really hard. I think to uh, especially after what happened Sunday, that to me was kind of the, the final the final squirt of embalming fluid on this debate. I think we've kind of retired this, but. Feel, feel free to, I don't know, how do you feel? No, I'm, I, 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 my whole bit was basically, statistically, he is the greatest of all time. There's there's no debating that, in my opinion. Stats don't lie, and he's got all the stats on the men's side. I don't know if I would say it overall in tennis. I could still make arguments for Serena Williams and, and, and you know, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Martina yeah. Navratilova as well. I mean, we work with right. Martina very closely, and I've always said she's my tennis goat. Um, you know, the 59 majors all that she's done over basically four decades, you know, from the seventies to 2006 and, and, and what she's done outside the sport as well uh, factors into that for me. But on the men's side, it's Djokovic. And you know, I did bring up the point that it's, it's stats and legacy. And so legacy is more emotional and therefore subjective. And I understand that, you know, if Roger Federer made you feel a certain way because it was so effortless and so beautiful, the way he played, He's your he's your goat because of that, and that overrides the statistics. And there are Rafa fans that will say the same thing, but at the end of the day, statistically, on the men's side, there is there's no denying Novak Djokovic, right? Yeah, but then we're like, uh, someone was giving me a similar argument the other night. I'm thinking like my my favorite basketball player of all time was was Sean Kemp. Okay. And he was cool. The Rain he Man. He was athletic. The Rain Man. It was in Seattle. Like grunge was there. And I'm like, <laughs> he moved me more than Michael Jordan. But you would like really. You'd, you'd like a lot. No, but I'm just gonna. It was past. You know, it's personal. But it's like if you know. So so. But I would never argue that Sean Kemp, because I had this connection with him, and because he made basketball look easy, and because he was, you know, from Indiana like I am. I've never made That's what it is. So Ranger now, now I got to the bottom Michael of it Jordan. now. It's the Indiana yeah. thing. <laughs> well, yeah, exactly. He's from northern India. Uh, but no, but I would never, like, I'd never stand out there and make the case that, like, Sean Kemp was – these people are like, you know, my, I don't care what anyone says. Roger Federer moved me like no other athlete. I'm like, I, I get that. But, like, that's, that's not what the GOAT – you know, when we talk about Tom Brady, it's, I don't think anyone's saying, like, oh, I have an emotional connection to him. It's <laughs> – Here's what he achieved. Here's his longevity. Here are Super Bowl rings. Like, go find me someone else. Like, I don't think anyone's saying, like, you know. Brockman, feel free to chime in if you'd like. Yeah, that's my goal. Chris Brockman has an emotional connection to Tom Brady. John, John, us in New England are very connected to Tom Brady. We even rooted for him with the Bucks. But that's not, that's not why we're calling him the go. I mean, I, know. I feel like once 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 we then we're just fans, right? When people are like, you know, Roger Federer, like I don't care what anyone says, like he touched my soul, and I'm like, that's great, <laughs> but that doesn't make him the, that doesn't make him the goat. <laughs> well, you know, you know what Andy Roddick says about Djokovic. First, he takes your legs, then he takes yeah. your soul. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't touch your soul. That's LA traffic for He doesn't touch your soul. He takes it. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.